What's up guys? Josh here with Planet Chinchilla. Welcome back to another quick episode. Today we are going to go over temperature control for chinchillas. Or an easier way to word it, what is the ideal temperature in your home that you want to keep it at for your chinchilla to thrive, be happy, be safe, and not run the risk of overheating. Stick around for just a minute and we will be right back. <music> Alright guys, we are back and like I said, we are going to be covering the ideal temperatures to keep your home for your chinchilla, to keep them safe, to avoid heat strokes, and just to make those furry little guys happy in general. Real quick, before we get into that, please make sure to like this channel if you find these videos helpful. Subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you can get notified when new videos come out. New videos go up on this channel every Monday and Thursday, so that's whenever you can bank on seeing more related videos on chinchillas. And lastly, any products that I recommend for keeping your chinchilla cool, anything that helps or anything that you need to keep in mind or related readings that would help you with this topic, those links will be in the description below. I will always put those kinds of links below so that you can easily go check that out. For instance, a related blog post on planetchinchilla.com for this topic is what is the ideal temperatures for chinchillas. So link description below, you can check it out. Now let's start diving into the actual things that you need to know on this topic. Does temperature even matter? Why am I shooting this video in my garage at 4 a.m.? Things like that. Is it even important? Kidding, of course. Yes, temperature matters um, greatly for chinchillas. And we'll start covering all of the reasons why right now. All right, guys, we are back and ready to start discussing what you need to be aware of whenever we're talking about keeping ideal temperatures and just the, the correct temperature levels in general for your chinchilla. If you haven't subscribed yet and you do enjoy these videos, make sure you do that real quick. And if you don't want to subscribe, I'm pretty sure I already know the reason why. And it's because I'm a lot better at blogging about this stuff than I am making videos. So what matters when you're talking about controlling the temperature for your chinchilla inside of the house? Obviously, I don't think any of us are keeping our chinchillas outside of the house. If you are, hats off to you. I don't know how you're doing that successfully. And before we get any comments here on the channel and you're wondering why a lot of the accessories are out of the cage compared to my last videos, here's the deal. We are redoing just about everything with the cage. Um, switched out the, the fleece liners, changing those out. Um, I need to put the wheel back in there. I need to get some of the other accessories going, but we just moved her upstairs. So everything will be in there by today after this video, basically. It's just a work in progress right now, redoing some of the basement. So that's the deal with that. So what do we need to worry about? Do we need to be right over top of an air vent? Like you see right here for my chinchilla. Cage is right up here against the wall. We got an air vent pumping cold air into it. Do we need to constantly be checking the thermostat here? And whoa, 71, that's a little ridiculous. We're gonna. We're gonna go down a little bit on that, and not for the chinchilla, but for me. I don't know who turned that one up. The answer is no, you don't have to be that particular about it. You do have some things that you need to keep in mind. Bear with me through the lighting here real quick. I'm gonna go finish this video outside. If you're wondering why I wanna go outside to finish a video about a chinchilla, it's because, well, we're in the middle of a pandemic and I don't get outside enough, so. I'm assuming you don't either, so go outside and finish watching this video. But no, you do not need to be that particular about what you're doing to keep the temperatures controlled, but you do need to make sure that you are doing at least the basics. So if you go to the blog post on planetchinchilla.com, which is planetchinchilla.com backslash what is the ideal temperatures for chinchillas, It'll break down a lot of that for you. The temperatures that you need to remain at, which is 60 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, is the ideal temps. Anything under that by a little bit is perfectly fine. Like if you have a nice cold basement, no big deal. 
but you do need to keep in mind that humidity levels also make a difference so if it is a basement that gets humid or maybe it gets water depending on where you live things like that that would increase the humidity levels you do need to be controlling that too um, the easiest way to do that is by using a dehumidifier i use a few of them and there is a whole house dehumidifier as well I use a few dehumidifiers in the basement um, and we don't have too much of an issue with humidity levels but I like it to stay in that zone for myself too so it doesn't bother me to have to order a few extra to keep my chinchilla more comfortable by any means. I will put the link in the description below so you can see the dehumidifiers I use. They're not expensive by any means, they're kind of a basic one on Amazon. Then you have a few other things you can do as well. You need to make sure that you have a couple of the chinchilla granite stones. If you don't want to actually order the ones that are specifically made for them by Katie, you don't have to. Some people just use granite slabs. And the idea behind those is that surface stays cool. So if your chinchilla is getting too hot, then they can go place their feet on that and cool down a little bit. This helps quite a bit if they get hot or stressed out during a playtime or time out of the cage um, especially in that first couple months when they're warming up to the environment if you're getting them out they're rolling around in dust and they're still kind of scared of you it's not a bad idea to have some of those granite stones that you can place in the cage for them they'll go sit on them for a little bit cool down they're not an end-all be-all by any means so you do need to keep in mind that you can't just buy those and then expect to be fine when it comes to actually controlling the temperature in the house you still want a central air unit on during the warm months. And if you don't have central air, then your chinchilla needs to be in a room with like a window unit AC. Whatever you gotta do to stay in that 60 to 75 degree range, you need to be doing. So what happens if you get above this range or if you are just not doing your job when it comes to controlling the temps for your chinchilla? <laughs> well, uh, I can tell you I wouldn't really wanna find out I probably wouldn't even get a chinchilla if that was a plan to try and push that limit. I mean, these guys have dense fur, they do get hot, and it can cause death. Heat stroke, other issues, don't even mess with it if that's your plan. Make sure that you have it set up for them to where it's not going to be an issue. Again, dehumidifiers, 60 to 75 degrees, the granite stones, window AC unit if you need something like that instead of central air and not going outside outside of that i mean it's some basic common sense guys we're talking don't put them right in front of a window where the sun is penetrating on them all day long don't put them in a room that gets hotter than the rest of the rooms in the house and don't stress them out if they're not warmed up to you yet don't push it don't make them get to that point to where they're stressed and getting hotter it's just, it's not a good thing in general. It can cause other issues like fur slips. Just keep them cool and you'll have nothing to worry about. All right, guys, those are the basics for making sure that your chinchilla stays at the ideal temperatures inside of your house. We appreciate you stopping by. Again, we're glad to be back. We're sorry for the delay in the videos. They will be going up every Monday and Thursday. So make sure you subscribe if you like these videos and the tips that I'm giving about raising a chinchilla. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when the new videos are out. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks again.